Let's move along now in um, workbook, in uh, Affinity Designer workbook, and we're using it on the iPad. And I'm on page 106 for colours and gradients. And we're going to have a look at the first part, which is the colour panel. So we've expanded the artboard, and you'll remember it's... Let me see if I can reduce this without messing around with it too much. Remember it's that artboard there with all of the guitar and things on it. Available for, for download, of course, from the sites previously mentioned. Now, the one we're looking at is the artboard with colours and gradients. And we're looking at the first one. Now, we want to change it. So we select the circle on the artboard. That's that one there, selected. Let's have a look in the thing there. There it is. The circle on the artboard. On the, um, and then on the colour panel, click on the solid circle selector. So there's the colour panel. We want the solid circle selector, which is white. Anywhere on the outer ring of the HSL wheel, we want the HSL wheel, colour wheel. There we go. Now the colour wheel, for reasons known only to them, you'll notice as HSL sliders, well colour wheel is also HSL colour wheel. It's not a slider and it's not called HSL, it's just called the colour wheel. So don't spend a year trying to find it. Click anywhere on the outer ring of the HSL wheel. Well, let's keep it with, in context of the others. And the outer ring is just there. So we've made the centre a dark blue. Or we could make it a slightly lighter blue, but let's make it a dark blue there. Because there's a, another step to go. Remember, that's the outer wheel. You can change that to whatever you like just there in the outer wheel. That sets. And then click anywhere on the outer ring of the HS wheel to set the hue of the object's fill. So there you go. It's a kind of a blue. No, no indication of numbers yet. We don't need that. Then click on the inner triangle to set the saturation and lightness value. You'll notice the inner triangle is different shades. So let's slip in the right hand corner of that triangle. You can see the circle that we've just colored. You can see it change down there depending on where I tap in there. So you can actually change that considerably. Let's, let's leave it probably about there. Now, click on the panel donut selector. Now, up here in the where the color bar is at the top, there's the donut. It's very hard to see because it actually starts out black. And on the iPad, it's quite difficult to see. The foremost selector is the currently active selection. Now, we don't want that. From panel preferences, select sliders to change the panel layout to sliders. Color wheel. Let's go to HSL sliders. And that changes that to there. Then select the color mode from the pop-up menu. Menu. Use the sliders to set the color of the object's stroke. That's the outer black circle. And we can change that. And the colours that they use in the book are 193, 72, 20. So let's set those. 100 and 7, 8, 192. The next colour is 72. That's there. Quite difficult to get that thing just where you want it. So it's easier to use the numbers. 72. And the last one. Let's make that 20. Okay. And you can see it's actually changed. It's no longer black anymore. See how I can change that up and down? And it changes the colour of the outer ring. That's almost the colour of the one next to it. 
go back to 21, 20, and take my pen off. I'm using the Apple Pencil, by the way. So that's the first step in changing the colours in this section. Now, will I have a look at the next page on the same object? Now, it's quite it's quite complex, the next one, so we'll take it a step at a time. This one was involved simply the inner ring, the inner circle and the outer ring and changing their colours. And you do that by selecting that one or that one. And there we go. That's all for this little part, the colour panel.